So your boss has asked you to make a wicked cool video. You've smashed it out the park after spending four sleepless nights putting it all together. Well done, he says to you. Thank you, you say to him through your sad sleep deprived eyes. Now all I need is the same video in three other formats for social media. Huh? This is how you can change your aspect ratio in Premiere Pro with one click. So we have our video on the timeline that we've spent four days working on. Usually the way that you do this is you recreate a brand new sequence by going up to File, New Sequence, giving it a name, going up to Sequence, Sequence Settings, and changing it from 1920 to whatever it might be, 1080 by 1920 or 1920 by 1920. But you don't have to do that anymore because Premiere Pro and its very clever sensei thing has created something that will change your life. Instead of changing an aspect ratio like that a thing of the past we are going to click on our video we're going to go to up to sequence and go down to auto reframe sequence then this little window pops up and it asks you what do you want to call your sequence the next one down gives you your different aspect ratios so premiere pro starts off with the main four which would be square format vertical format for instagram vertical format for tiktok and horizontal which is as usual and then you have a custom option where you can put in your own numbers so what we'll do is we'll take this video and we'll convert it to a 9 by 16 which would be tiktok format your motion tracking basically it's going to push your video into a different aspect ratio which means your subject is not going to be where it was in the previous aspect ratio so what it's going to do it's going to take some motion tracking and some keyframes and it's going to move that frame around in order to keep your subject nice and snug right in the middle if there's not a lot of movement you click slow motion if there's tons of movement and action in your shots faster motion is best but you can just keep it on default and then you hit create and there we go uh, see the problem here is that it has assumed that this man sitting in the back is actually our subject however what you can do is you come over to the left and you reframe your offset on your x and y axis do that and there you go easy as you like it's exactly where it needs to be so the best way to use this function is at the end after you've made your video in one certain aspect ratio take that whole video put it into a nested sequence and then change the aspect ratio for each one using this auto reframe sequence. That is the best way to use it that I found. It has saved me so much time. I'm always making videos for Twitter and then TikTok and then different aspect ratios. And this has helped me a ton. It is just incredible. Saved me so much time. I love it. Thank you Premiere Pro for doing one thing right at the moment. If this video was good, if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys around. Peace out.